Hi everyone, myself Yavan Mujalal and today we are here to discuss some ethical hacking interview question that you might encounter. The very first question the interviewer can ask is, can you explain the brute force attack? The brute force attack is a method used by the attackers to gain unauthorized access to the systems, network or user accounts by systematically trying all the possible combination of usernames and the password until the correct one is found. The attacker will be creating some word lists which are containing potential username and the password that they believe might be used by the target and systematically try each username password combination until they find the correct one. By following this systematic approach, the companies proactively identify and mitigate security weakness, improving their overall security posture and reducing the risk of potential cyber threats. Then the second question will be, what exactly do you mean by the exploitation? Exploitation refers to the act of taking advantage of the vulnerabilities or the weakness in our computer systems, software, networks or application for unauthorized purpose. When a hacker exploits a vulnerability, he or they are leveraging it to gain unauthorized access, abstract information, disrupt services or perform other malicious activities. Like if a software application has a security flaw that allows an attacker to execute arbitrary code on the system. The attacker can exploit this vulnerability by exacting some malicious code and taking control of the application and potentially compromising the entire system. Then the third question can be, what is a man in the middle attack? Can it be prevented? So a man in the middle attack is a type of cyber attack where an attacker intercepts and relays communication between two parties who they believe are directly communicating with each other. In a man-in-the-middle attack, the attacker secretly inserts himself between the communication path, allowing him to eavesdrop on the data being exchanged or even alter the message in transit. Man-in-the-middle attack are particularly concerning whenever sensitive information such as your login credential, financial data or personal information are being exchanged. The attacker, he can capture this information and he can later on use it for unauthorized access or some other malicious activities like identity theft or unauthorized access to accounts. Preventing a man in the middle attack can be challenging, but there are some several measures that can significantly reduce the risk like using end-to-end -end encryption such as HTTPS for web communication or encrypted messaging apps to ensure the data is encrypted throughout the transmission and will be making it difficult for attackers to decipher the intercepted information and ensuring that the network connection are secure especially in public wi-fi or your untrusted networks so we can also use your multi-factor authentication for sensitive accounts to add an extra layer of security which will be making it very, very harder for the attackers to gain unauthorized access. So these are some measures that can significantly mitigate the risk of man in the middle attack. And it is essential to maintain a proactive cyber security approach, continuously monitor for suspicious activities and educate users about potential risk and best practice to stay vigilant against evolving threats. Then the last question we are going to discuss is what are honeypots? Honeypots are specialized computer systems, networks or your applications which are placed within an organization's infrastructure to mimic genuine assets and attract attackers. Unlike production systems which are designed for legitimate use, honeypots are isolated and set up with the sole purpose of luring malicious activity. Honeypots they are intentionally designed to appear attractive and vulnerable, thus captivating the attention of attackers. By appearing as authentic targets and diverting attackers from valuable production system, providing security teams with a valuable buffer and early warning systems. Thank you.